Earlier this week, the McGee Women's Research Institute handed a team of researchers working on preventing heart defects in babies. On hand to help present the prize, 60 Minutes correspondent Laura Logan. She's a survivor of sexual assault and breast cancer. Susan Copen got a chance to talk with Logan. Standing before a room full of medical researchers from around the world, Laura Logan came to Pittsburgh to share her story about being a fighter and a survivor. I'm good. You know, I, um, I won't pretend that it's easy. Um, some days are harder than others. In February of 2011, while covering the fall of Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak, Logan was surrounded by an angry mob and sexually assaulted. The 60 Minutes correspondent talked openly about her attack, her recovery, and her efforts to help others. Because someone took a lot from you, it doesn't mean they get all of you. It doesn't mean they get the rest of your life. That's a powerful place to be if you can get there because you're not a victim when you decide how much they get. In our interview, Logan was candid about the firing of former CBS chairman Leslie Moonves and her former boss at 60 Minutes, Jeff Fager, over accusations of sexual misconduct. I was shocked. And I was also um, sad in lots of ways. And I didn't get a free ride, you know. It hasn't been easy for me. Jeff Vega was a tough boss, but always made your stories better. I also, at the same time, you know, I, I always think about the women who have been victims. Along with sharing her story to groups like this one in Pittsburgh, Logan, who now lives outside of Austin, Texas, fills her days focusing on family. Between my kids and keeping the house together and keeping my work going and supporting my family, you know, I don't really have time to think about much else. This correspondent continues to work for 60 Minutes and hopes to get back overseas to cover stories in places like Afghanistan. Susan Copen, KDKA TV News.